Hi friends, I'm here with a yoga offering. As always, please go at your own pace. Rest whenever you need to and feel free to skip things or change things if they're not working for you today. Let's begin on our backs. You can come into a symmetrical, relaxed position. Go ahead and spread out. And either close your eyes and take a soft gaze up towards the ceiling. Begin to slow down your breath. And you're welcome to keep your eyes closed or open them as it's useful for you. So let's begin by sliding arms overhead, stretching out long through your arms and legs. Interlace your fingers, press out through your palms, flex your feet, reaching through the heels of your hands, the heels of your feet. And then release and bring your right knee in. Give it a good squeeze, maybe a little jiggle. And then straighten your right leg up towards the ceiling. Flex and point your foot a few times. Circle your ankle a couple times both directions. Bend your knee back in. Open your knee out to the right and then straighten part way or all the way out to the side, grounding down through the back of the left leg. In each shape, seeing what is there to release here, finding just the right amount of effort, letting go of what's not needed. Bend the right knee in and take it across for a spinal twist. Open out through your right arm. Let your knee and shoulder reach away from one another. And then staying in your twist, try straightening your right leg on a low diagonal, the right arm on a high diagonal, letting your fingers and toes reach away from one another. And then roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in. Take a little circle or rock with your knees, massaging the lower back, sacrum into the floor. And grab hold of just the left knee. Drop the right leg long, squeeze that knee in. And then straighten your left leg up. Flex and point your foot a few times. Circle your ankle a couple times both directions. Bend your knee back in, open your knee out to the left, and then straighten part way or all the way out to the side, grounding down through the back of your right leg. And then release, bend your knee and bring it across. Spinal twist, first with a bent knee. And then try straightening the left leg on a low diagonal, left arm on a high diagonal, fingers and toes reaching away from one another. And roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in. A little circle or rock. And then drop your feet to the floor. And we'll get set up for some core work. Start by drawing the belly in. Press the lower back down from the inside. 
Interlace your fingers behind your head and exhale, lift head and chest up. Inhale, release down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Let's take one more like this. And release down. Send the right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, head up towards your leg. Inhale, head down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Up. And down. One more. And then switch. Left leg high. Exhale, head up. Inhale, head down. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Let's take one more like this and then release. Switch again, right leg high. This time take your left arm across. Each time you exhale, reach a little further across. Strong core but relaxed face. One more on this side. And then release, switch again. Last set, left leg high, right arm across. One more. And then release, stretch long through arms and legs. Bring knees in, little circle or rock. And then make your way up to sitting. And let's come all the way into a high push-up position. Hands right under shoulders. Connect your head to your heels, whole body in a straight long line. And then shift your weight forward to lower down, low push up. And come into your back bend. So that could be as low or high as feels right for you, little baby cobra, or maybe coming up higher. Could come into up dog. And then back to down dog, hips high. might pedal out your feet here or take any other movement that helps you get into your body. Hmm. And then drop your knees, sink back to child's pose. Practicing that is a good option, remembering that you have the option of resting anytime. With arms out in front of you, walk your hands over to the left and then pull back through your right hip, stretching right side a little more. Come through center and over to the other side. Pull back through your left hip, stretching left side a bit more. Back to center. Let's lift up through table. Come back through down dog. And then walk your hands and feet towards one another. Let's hang in ragdoll. Feet hip width apart, parallel. And bend your knees a little or a lot. Customizing everything you're doing so it works for you.
Bend your knees a little more and slowly roll up, coming all the way up to standing. You can step up to the front of your mat, coming into mountain pose, Tadasana. Let's take a full A-series sun salutation. Next inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, fold forward, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen, part way up. Step or hop your feet back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. Let's take five deep breaths in down dog or child's pose or sitting. Any neutral shape. Last breath here. Come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Again, inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. Back to down dog. This time from down dog, send your right leg up to the ceiling, bend your knee to your chest, and start circling this bent right knee, making the biggest circle possible for your hip joint. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. Circle your ankle a few times. Big circles, both directions. Take your leg a little higher and then bring your right knee towards right upper arm. Extend it up and back. Take it across towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Take a big step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Settle in, sink low. Let's grab the left wrist, take it over for a little side bend. Same thing, other side. Back to center, interlace fingers behind your back. Lift the chest. Release arms up. Tip forward, standing splits, hands to the floor or to a couple blocks. We'll do this with hips square. And the upper body letting go. Last breath. Step back. Warrior one, inhale, arms up. Sink low, deep bend in the front leg, straight long back leg. One more breath. Release, make your way to down dog. Any movement transition, feeling what you are choosing to do. From down dog, when you're ready, left leg sweeps up, bend your knee in and start circling. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. And then bring your left knee towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Take it across towards right upper arm. 
send it up and back. Now right towards the center of your chest. Up and back. Big step forward, high lunge. Arms up, hips low. Grab your right wrist, take it over. Same thing, other side. Back to center, interlace fingers behind your back. Other thumb on top this time, the way you don't normally cross. Heart lifts, hips sink. Release arms up. Tip forward, standing splits. We'll do this with hips square. Upper body letting go. Stretching that right leg as straight and long and high as you can. Last breath. Step back. Warrior one, inhale, arms up. Sink low. Last breath here. Release, make your way to down dog, however you get there. Feel what you're doing. Take the time you need to do it and then settle into a good rest, whether that's down dog or any other neutral shape. If it's useful, you might close your eyes. One more deep breath here. Come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward. Inhaling, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Let's bend the knees and come into chair, Utkatasana. Hips low, head high, shoulders low, fingers high. Feel what's going up and down. One more breath here. Release, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. Back to down dog. Right leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three. Shift forward, find your balance. Try and do this with hips square. Torso and back leg reaching long away from one another. Last breath. Step back, warrior one, just one breath. Release through your movement transition. Left leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up, warrior three. Connecting one end to the other, straight long line. Last breath here. Step back, warrior one. Release 
find your way back to a good rest. Finding ease, so choose a shape where ease is possible. One more deep breath here. Let's come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward. Inhaling flat back, exhale fold. Bend your knees, arms up, inhale chair. Exhale straighten. Again, inhale chair. Exhale fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. Right leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three, one breath. Step back, warrior one. From here, let's take eagle arms, right elbow on top of left. Lift the chest, sink the hips. And then shift your weight forward. Come onto the toes of that back foot and step into Eagle, Garudasana. Knee on top of knee. If you can, hook your ankle around your calf, do so. If it doesn't reach, just hug it in close. One more breath here. Unwind, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Feel free to bend your supporting leg or use a block for your bottom hand. Going towards straight long lines from one arm to the other, from your head to your back foot. And then we're gonna come to revolved half moon. So you might lift your right arm as you slowly square off your hips, rotate the upper body, bring the left hand to the floor or a block. Right arm goes high, as high as you can, towards straight long lines. They may not be straight, it's okay. One more breath here. Take a short step back. Pyramid pose. You may want to grab blocks for your hands. Square off the hips. Going towards hip square, towards a flat back. And then let's take revolve triangle. So your left hand can be on your foot, your ankle, a block or the floor. And that could be on the inside or outside of the front leg. Right hand can start at the lower back, kind of feeling, are your hips square? Draw that right hip back. And then right arm reaches high, going towards a straight long line. One more breath here. Release, make your way to down dog, however you get there. Slow down your breath, feel where you are. Just taking one thing at a time. When you're ready, left leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three, one breath. Step back, warrior one. Eagle arms, left elbow on top this time. Upper back arch, hips low, chest high. And 
and then shift your weight forward. Come onto the toes of that back foot. Step into Eagle, Garudasana. Feel what's going up, what's going down, what's engaging, what's releasing. Unwind, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Going in the directions you know to go in, meeting your edge where it is, and feeling how it is to be here now. Let's start to transition to revolved half moon, lifting the left arm, lower the right arm to square hips off now, going towards straight long lines. One more breath. Release, step back. Pyramid pose, you can adjust your footing. Find your way. And then revolved triangle. Right hand can be on the floor or a block or your ankle or your foot. Going in the directions you know to go in. Feeling as much as you can right where you are. Last breath here. Release. Make your way back to a good rest. Letting go of all of that. down dog. Let's come into a pigeon pose, right side, slide the right knee forward, scoot back through the left leg, help the hips get as low as they'll go. See if some support is useful for you here. You're welcome to use something under your hip or chest or forehead. Bring the upper body back up, take your time. If you have something under your right hip in your way, move it out of your way. So you can lean to the right and then slide the left knee forward. Half hero. You can move your calf out of your way. Try and have the right toes, uh, sorry, the left toes point straight back, left knee straight forward. Feel free to sit up on something, a lift under the hips or padding under the ankle could make this more accessible for you. Lean back, you can stay on your hands. You can come down to one elbow or both elbows or all the way back. Trying to keep the stretch in the quad and hip flexor and out of the lower back and knee.
At any point, you might go down further or come back up. Trying to stay at your edge, not beyond it. And then to release, lean to the right, straighten the left leg out. Give a little rub to the knee or ankle, working out any tightness from that side. And then make your way back to down dog. You might take a vinyasa. Maybe there's some other way you want to move. And then pigeon pose on the left side. Left knee slides forward. Adjust the angle of the front leg. Add any support if that's useful. Let's bring the upper body back up. If you have something under your left hip, move it out of your way so you can lean to the left, slide the right knee forward. Move your calf muscle out of your way. Add any support if that's useful. Tuck the tailbones. You're trying to take the crease out of the right hip and you can be on your hands, your elbows, one elbow, two ball two elbows all the way back and adjust the outer shape so you are finding what feels right for you. It's not always better to go deeper. For some bodies, in some moments, you want to be more gentle. To release, let's lean to the left, straighten that right leg out, a little rub to the knee or ankle, and then make your way back to down dog, however you want to get there. Come all the way through to sitting, extend the legs forward. Take the flesh of the sit bones back and let's take a seated forward fold. Use your hands where they serve you. Could be on your feet, something like a strap around the feet, on the floor. Inhale to look up, exhale, release, come back onto your back, bring both knees in, take a circle or rock with your knees, and then let's set up for bridge. Drop your feet to the floor, hip width apart, parallel, make sure your feet are right under your knees, and then press your feet down to lift your hips high. Once your hips are high enough, interlace your fingers behind your back, shrug your shoulders underneath you. Spreading the upper back and lower back away from one another. Hips as high as you can, opening up the fronts of the hip creases. And 
and then take your arms out of your way, roll down and rest with back flat. If you want to come up again, come up again, same thing or any other back bend. If you want to take half wheel or full wheel or supported bridge or something else. Come to what feels right for you. And stay as long or short as you like. Each time the pose feels complete, come down and rest. If you want to come up again, come up again. If you're done, enjoy the rest or you might take a counter stretch like happy baby or something else. We are moving towards the end of class so this is a good time to do what feels right for you and wrapping up your practice. Do you want to take an inversion? Do you want to take a restorative pose? Is there a part of your body that could use it? feeling what you are doing, if you're enjoying what you're doing, take all the time you need. Each time you finish, just ask yourself again, what's needed now? When nothing else is needed, and start getting comfortable in your final resting pose, Shavasana. Get as comfortable as you can. If you want to use props or adjust your clothing or do a little self-massage. Take your time. Eventually settling into stillness. Letting go of the control of your breath. <sighs> Letting go of the weight of your body. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Gently waking your body up again and let this movement increase gradually through your wrists and ankles. Eventually stretching out long through your arms and legs. When you're ready, bring your knees in. 
And roll to one side, pausing there for a moment. And use your hands to help you up to sitting. And bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hope you have a good rest of your day.